Tony Topics. Welcome to Tony's Topics. My name's Tony and these are the topics. Okay, so what do I want to get into today? The NFL. This weekend was amazing, week 14. And let me see, I mean, I guess some of those I was shocked about, but when I look back, should I have been so shocked? Okay, starting it off. Dallas over Chicago, I call that one, no big deal. Pittsburgh over Cincinnati, I was shocked. I thought the Bengals had a little bit more in them, but that was just kind of a beating. I mean, you know, I was like, the Steelers fans are just going to have to wrap it up. Their season's over. Nope. The Bengals say no. Okay. The Colts versus Cleveland. Uh, I called Indiana winning that game, but man, if Indiana didn't just barely pull that one out. What, like in the last minute of the game? Incredible game. Incredible. Oh, my gosh. But, you know, Andrew Luck was going to come through, you know, because I was like, it's over. And a, a part of me wanted it to be over because, you know, I was taking the Patriots to win the whole AFC anyway. But Andrew, Col Andrew Luck and the Colts, they're still in there. Now, can they get down with the Broncos or with the Patriots? I don't know about that. But, you know, anything could happen. Nah, let's just hope it doesn't, though. All right, keep me moving. All right, then, so Tampa Bay and Detroit. I call that Detroit was going to win that one. The defense. Houston over Jacksonville. Of course, that's Houston on that one, and that happened. I call that. Baltimore, Miami. I should have called Baltimore looking back at it, but I called Miami, you know, listening to Miami fans. Well, learn your lesson there. Okay, Minnesota over the Jets. I call that. No big deal. Uh, Carolina over the Saints. Didn't see that one. I guess Carolina had a little bit more left in the tank. But whatever anyway, neither one of those teams. Well, somebody said, yeah, Carolina might still be in the hunt. It's, it's terrible, okay? Again, maybe we need to redo the standings, make it more like the NBA. If you're going to have divisions, let the top eight teams come out of the division, not the top of each, you know, little section or whatever it is. I mean, seriously, just take... The best eight teams in the NFC, the best eight teams in the AFC. Sorry if a top playoff team does not live near you. Deal with it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Giants, Tennessee, obviously Giants. Um, and, you know, I caught the end. You know, please, it didn't take anything for that. St. Louis versus Washington. Yeah, I called St. Louis. I mean, they're going to win against all the good teams. Might as well start beating the bad teams, too. I mean, good grief, St. Louis. So that pretty much wrapped that up. Oh, wait. Now the good games. Arizona versus Kansas City. I was so glad Arizona had some in the tank, man. Because I was going to, I called against Arizona. Because, you know, you had saw two weeks in a world where Palmer was gone, Fitzgerald was gone, and that was the end of their record. You know, but Fitzgerald came back, and that team is back to rolling. At least, you know, I don't know. Maybe Stanton and him can get it together. But I just don't see how a team goes from going from 9-1 and one to just garbage. You know, you lost two players, and you're just utter garbage. I mean, I see how it happens, but come on. That's just too far to come to not make it. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, brrr, let's see here, here, here. Uh, Buffalo versus Denver. You know Denver was going to win that one. Uh, San Francisco versus Oakland. Yeah, that's an upset. At the same time, it's not like Kaepernick's been playing great all this year. I'm just saying, and I made a video about this a while ago. Kaepernick, get back to running the ball. Some guys were meant to throw with pinpoint accuracy. Some guys are able to hit open guys, but really they can rush the ball. And that's you, Cap. That's you. You're the other running back on that team. You, Cap. Okay, it's Gordon, you, man. Russell Wilson does it all the time. Russell Wilson is consistently the second best rusher on his team. So come on, Cap. Recognize who you are. Run the ball, man. Oh, it's just sad to see. Either way it goes. You know, there's always next season, but you can use the rest of this season to tune yourself back up. Okay. Seahawks versus Philly. Yay! Because the Seahawks really haven't had much of a challenge in a while. And, you know, when they dropped that game to Kansas City, well, when they first dropped that game to the Rams, I was upset. But then they followed it up by dropping the game to Kansas City. And I was like, what, are the Chiefs real? You know, that? I mean, they do have Jamal Charles. But then, you know, the Seahawks brought it back. They're back. The defense is wrecking people. It's that old school, I'm going to break you in half defense. And the offense is looking good as well. Honestly, I was looking at that last game, and I might have to research this a little bit more, but could it be that Kearse might need to be the new running back? 
I'm just, it just seems that when Kears catches the ball or gets the ball, he does something with it. And now Marshawn Lynch gets a lot of touches, but he's really not averaging that many yards for, uh, uh, for his touches, for the amount of touches he's getting. And the Marshawn Lynch of last, I don't know. I saw one game a couple weeks ago where it was the Marshawn Lynch of old, where it took at least two defenders to take him down. But this season, it doesn't seem like he's like that. You know, but Kier seems to really be blowing up. Baldwin is clearly the best receiver on the team, but Kier seems to be like, you know, he wants the ball more. Uh, I get the ball to Kier more. You know, Russell Wilson's going to do his thing. I'm not saying get rid of Marshawn Lynch. I'm just saying maybe you want to cut back on Lynch's touches and get the ball to Kier more because he's doing big things. You know, I, I don't know. You'd have to look it up. Look it up, Seahawks. You know, check out the stats because the stats don't lie. Anyway. Or not too often. So, New England and San Diego. Psh, New England. Yeah. I called that. I saw that. Yeah. New England's going to win that. And finally, but I'm happy to see that they did. You know, it was a bit of a challenge. So, it's nice to see my teams really doing well, you know, tuning up and stuff before we come into this last month of the NFL and get ready for the playoffs. That's my time. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Green Bay's already beaten Atlanta, and everybody knows how that one's going to end. It, and speaking of that Green Bay, since we're so close to the playoffs anyway, when it comes to the NFC, I mean, unless Arizona gets it together with Stanton or whatever, then I'm really only seeing Green Bay and the Seahawks. Because, I mean, the way Philadelphia did the Cowboys was brutal. And then the way the Seahawks did Philadelphia was brutal. Now, make no doubt, the score does not reflect that game. It, it honestly... It never looked, I mean, looking at the, I mean, I checked out some of the stats. Philly was never in the game. I know, the Seahawks just dominated them. So, but anyway, so either way it goes, I see them in the NFC. And, you know, the AFC is all about the Broncos and the Patriots. You know, you can hope on that luck thing if you want to, but it's Broncos, Patriots all the way. Either way it goes. That's my time. That's my topics.